All right, good morning guys and gals. Um, wanted to make this video. I was getting ready to clean this filter and I apologize, I took it apart already, but I realized after I took the cover off, hey, you know what, I should make a video about this. Maybe not everybody knows how to do this. So all I did was uh, take off this clamp and the top. That's, that's all I've done so far. But basically, you know, obviously that cover goes right on there and then that clamp goes around it. It's just one simple bolt, at least mine is. Some of them have a spring, some of them don't. The reason I wanted to make this is because you, you really need to do this um, in order to keep your pool clean. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, I should have been doing this, I should have done it already. I mean, it's now June. I usually do this in May when the summer hits. You, you're supposed to, they recommend, quotes, you do it twice a year. Um, or every six months or whatever. Oh, the sun's coming out. Dang it. So for those of us who live out here in the Southwest, the sun is not a good thing. Um, so I was trying to do this early in the morning, but I'm also working and doing some other things too. So I wanted to at least get the cover off. Um, but basically what, what you want to do once in a while, you can see, right, obviously this is a DE filter, you know, filters all the water. The problem is if you don't get in here and clean it every once in a while, and you can see how it's some of this green and all this stuff, right? Hair everywhere, sand on the top, you know, is that no matter how many times you shock it, so there's my pool right there. I mean, it's not dirty or anything. Let me show you. You know, pool's pretty clean. There's, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, but the reason I'm doing this is because if you don't, if you don't do this, you know, at least once a year, you, you got to do it at least once. Now you can hire a pool guy to do it for you. Um, but you never really know what they're doing. And I usually like to at least do stuff myself once just to see how easy or hard it is, depending on the complexness of the stuff. But this is pretty easy, right? You take this thing off and here you are. Um, but if you don't, if you don't clean this every once in a while, no matter how many times you shock it or put chemicals in it, because this is covered all the time, this, this algae, it's always in water. So it's not going to die. Um, you can backwash it as much as you want, but you're never going to get all of this off. So every once in a while, you got to start fresh. Basically, you got to get all this off uh, and start new with new DE powder. You'll see a huge difference if you do that. So again, there's basically three ways you can do this. The first way is the easiest, but the most messy, I would say, is you can just clean it right here. Um, now, most filters have a drain plug you can kind of see mine right there that little black thing it's got a little th uh, hole in it or slot in it for a screwdriver you turn it you open it up and then you basically can get a, a garden hose or a pressure washer and you can just squirt it right here let it all drain out now i was gonna do that but the reason i'm not is because you can see all this crap all these needles and everything here that's from this lovely shitty tree here um so i want to clean all this up so if i open that up and clean it here uh it's going to get all this wet and then i won't be able to blow anything around so that's option number one leave it right here squirt it off with the hose until it's clean let it all drain out you know stick a hose down there option number two is to basically these these things right here you can't see it because it's covered with sand but right here are handles you, you just this whole thing it only connects right here this is this is where it connects so if you pull this off this whole thing just comes out and these will stay together because there's a piece on the bottom so option number two just take this whole thing out uh, and that's the option i'm going to do but you take the whole thing out and then move it somewhere um, i usually will clean it like over there somewhere out of the out of the way and basically i have a pressure washer i'll just take it in here and you can get most of this with a pressure washer um, you don't have to take this thing apart. You can get, especially with a pressure washer, you can get in there. You'll get most of it out, probably 95% of it. Option number three is to take this thing out and disassemble it completely with basically this screw right here. That allows all of these grids, as they're called, to come apart. And you can place them, you know, one by one against a wall or whatever and hose off, pressure wash both sides. That's, that's the way to get it the most clean, I would say. But that is a pain in the butt, at least for me. It was a pain in the butt. I mean, if you if you don't take like a picture of it or if you, these things are so hard to line up, 
Um, it's just such a pain in the butt. You have to get it perfectly because you see that everything clamps into these holes right here, right? All of these. So I'm not doing that one. I'm just going to take it out and spray everything off the way it is, but I'm not doing it inside here. So option number three, again, take this thing out, take it somewhere, take it apart and clean everything. I'm going with option number two, taking it out and just washing it like this. It's just a lot easier. Um, I'll be making this video in increments because I'm also doing some other stuff. But before it got too hot, I wanted to at least, you know, show you uh, what we're starting with here. But you can see, right, it's just, look at all this green. And I have a, obviously you can see a black lab here. You can see all this hair. I mean, it's just, this needs to be cleaned. I should have done it at least a month ago, probably sooner. But I have been noticing, and look, all this sand and stuff up here. I have been noticing that the pool is turning green a lot more than it usually does, but that's this is the reason. Because no matter how many times I shock it, the water in there will get clean, but this is all gonna get recirculated back into the pool. And so you gotta start fresh. Now, if I wasn't cleaning this, I thought about cleaning this area first um, and then, then squirting these off. And I still may do that. I don't know, I haven't really decided. I'm either gonna do option number one or two. The problem is when you, you know, if you do it right here, then this stuff is gonna just sit here. Um, it, it takes a long time for it to go away and like sink into the ground. It's it's really a personal preference. I'd rather do it right here, just so I don't have to take this stupid thing out because I hate putting it back in. It's not really super difficult if you don't disassemble it. It's just, I'll, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but that's where we're at now. So I'll be back when we start the process. Here's the reason why my pool is so dirty. All this hair everywhere. All right, so we're back here. I'm gonna attempt to take this thing out. You can already see uh, how, since it's drying out, like how it's turning a little bit lighter, but you can kind of see there is the, uh, the grid there behind there, these chunks of algae and everything. This, it just, you can tell it needs to be uh, cleaned. So, so again, everything is just connected right here. But a word of caution, remember this stuff is only plastic. So if you're not comfortable with trying to take this thing out, uh, then don't, right? If you are if you think you're going to break something, call the professional, let him or her break it. That way, if they break it, they have to pay for it. Again, it's not hard to take out. I'm going to take it out right now. I wish I could show you how that I'm taking it out, but because I only have one hand free, I don't have a device where I can hold the phone, but basically you're just... So the, there, this is a handle, and this is a handle, and it's just connected here. You can see, look, it's not connected anywhere else. Nothing. Just that. Just this slips right in here. So, um, I'm going to take this out, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I wanted to mention um, is, as long as this thing's working properly, you know, in the beginning, and you're not trying to repair anything, what you can do is actually, oh, crap. On my other hand, something that I like to do. Now, you, you might have to do this every time if you want. So you can take a marker, right? And just basically, you draw the line like this. And then you just make sure that when you put it back in, these line up. So now you know that's ex the exact spot it was before you took it out. So... I just wanted to put that out there. You don't have to do that, but something I do uh, sometimes just so I know this is, because it's working fine right now. There's nothing wrong with the filter as far as mechanical. Um, so as long as I put everything in the same exact spot it was, when I'm done, everything should be working fine. All right, and we're back. Uh, see, I got this thing out. All right, it's the same one. It's got that blue mark on there. Just lifted right out. Uh, one thing I did, I got my pressure washer ready to go. Um, one thing I did want to share with you was I forgot. You're going to need to take this drain plug out anyway. I mean, I guess technically you don't have to, but let me show you. I put it back on for a minute here. Hard to lift this thing up. Oh. So once you take the filter out, there's obviously all this nasty water in here. Um, you, you definitely want to get that out too. And you can see there's some kind of 
crud on the bottom and stuff. So take out the drain plug and you wash it out. Now again, theoretically, no, you don't really have to do this, but it doesn't really make sense not to, because as you can see, the water's green. If you put your thing back in, it's gonna be green. So you might as well just take it off. But, I'm um, sorry, take it out and wash it. So here we are with this. So now, one thing, again, one thing I strongly recommend, you don't need a pressure washer to do this. A garden hose will work. Um, I just have a pressure washer, so I'm just gonna use it. Oh, I need the tip, the right tip. One thing I cannot stress enough, do not, under any circumstances, use soap. Sorry, I'm just putting the tip in here. All right. Do not, under any circumstances, use any soap or detergent or anything on this thing. You don't need it, it's not necessary, and you'll literally never get it out. I mean, even if you put a tad of soap on here, again, it's not necessary, and then if you put soap on here and you think you got it all out, you didn't, and it's gonna end up right back in here and it's gonna make everything, you'll literally never, it's, it'll cause you so many problems. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. We're gonna see. And you'll see the difference. Sure. Alright, we'll start on this one. Now look at that. That is a complete night and day difference. That's what you want to start with. I'm going to go over it a couple more times, but again, you, you want to get in as many cracks as you can if you're doing it this way and you're not disassembling this thing. Um, you know, the, the pressure washer will fit in pretty much everywhere. Again, like I said, you'll get about 95% of this clean doing it this way. Um, yes, ideally you would want to take it all apart and do it that way, but I just don't have the time nor the patience to do that today. This is good enough. I've done this in the past and it works just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But you can see right here just, I mean, how much of a huge difference that is. Okay, here's your finished product. Like I said, you get about 95% of it all. I mean, I stopped pressure washer in there. You can see uh, it's all good. Is it 100% clean? No. Uh, the Again, the best way to do it. Now, don't forget to turn this thing upside down too. Just lay it down and then turn it upside down that's what I did right there um, because when you do that you see all this like water right there when you turn this upside down there's little plastic pieces in here the water will go through here and actually will come out right here and you can stick a garden hose in there if you want and just let it run no pressure just let all the water run out so, so that's pretty much it for this uh, what I'm gonna do now is actually you know so the thing the cool thing about algae is can't really live outside of water it needs it can't just live on um, you know like rocks and stuff that doesn't get wet all the time it can live in the ocean and stuff or in lakes but it has to have some sort of water uh, so I'm just gonna leave this out at least to my knowledge I'm not a you know scientist but uh, that's what I've seen right you take something with algae you leave it out and then it dies so I'm gonna leave this out here for a little while while I'm working on the rest of the stuff over there um, to kill any remaining once this thing dries you know it, it kill anything remaining and then I'll put it back in basically all you got to do from here now don't forget I'm gonna go drain out uh, that uh, filter housing and, and clean it out too so we can start fresh um, but basically after that you just put this thing back in you know um, tighten it up and put your DE powder in and I'll show you that when I get to that point but here's the see again this is what you want to start with. Uh, and you, there's a little bit in there. I'll clean that real quick. But, you know, basically just um, no soap. Again, no soap is needed for any of this stuff. This is all just water. Right? This is all I'm doing. It's just this. Yes, ideally the best way to clean this is to, to dis disassemble it all and um, clean each grid individually, upside down, back, front, you know, everything. But I just don't have the time or patience for that. 
So this is kind of a, a quick way, and again, it should work. Now, I live in the Southwest where it's extremely hot. Uh, it's already, you know, probably 100 degrees at least right now. It's still morning. Um, so this will dry very quickly. Um, but if you live in, you know, let's say the Midwest or the East Coast, it's going to take this a lot longer to dry probably. So, all right, here we are back in you can see lined it up with those lines um so i went ahead and you know cleaned a lot of this stuff too it's not perfect but it looks way better uh so now i'm just gonna put the cover back on and tighten it up uh, put some de powder in and good to go so hopefully this uh helps some folks um i'll now you always want to ideally i didn't say this in the beginning but one thing you want to make sure is that do this after your pool is like as clean as you can get it, right? Ideally, you'd want to do this, you know, after you shock it and vacuum it. Because if you do all this hard work, right, and your pool's green, let's say, you do all this, you clean it, you put it together, you put the DE powder in, and then you shock your pool and vacuum up all the algae, it's gonna, you're gonna go right back to what we just saw in the beginning. So ideally, you'd want to do this with a fresh pool, or again, as clean as you can get it. Right. I usually, what I normally do is a shock it the night before, um, vacuum it in the morning, then do this. I don't backwash it because I'm already taking this thing off anyway, so there's no point in, in backwashing. Um, so, but ideally you want to do this with the pool as clean as you can get it. Now, if you're already like, you know, if your pool is like totally green, then yeah, you're probably going to have to do this, shock it, clean it, then do this again. That's the only way to start fresh, but ideally, again, you want to try and do it with a pool as clean as you can. Back, this is it. Final product put back together. Um, good to go. Hopefully, you can hear me with this filter running. But you can see, pressure is good. Uh, everything's good. No leaks. Everything looks great. Um, so, and this thing, the pool is running like really good. Uh, I mean, it's it's looking really good. Nice pressure. Yeah. Damn dog. With your hair everywhere. Um, you know, one other thing too to mention is that when you do this, you know, when you're when you're spending all this time cleaning those filters, right? Empty your baskets too. Uh, start fresh with those, clean those out, get everything as clean as you can, and open these things up too. Open up this, and now you may not have one of these. This is just for an in in floor vacuum system and thing. So just clean. Clean out everything as much as you possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. It's been about 20 minutes, so we should be good now. Um, so yeah, ideally clean everything as much as you can and then you should be good to go. Uh, hopefully this helps some people. So if you like that, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe as I do a lot of other videos on guitars and just random stuff. So again, thanks for watching. Take care.